So what's going on? So this video is going to be about Chicago Bears defensive line in Charles Leo, <clears throat> who's uh, the word got around that he proposed on the football field last week when the Bears beat the Green Bay Packers to claim the NFC Central Division. And so he proposed to his girlfriend and she accepted. But the interesting thing that came to light is that his girlfriend, who was white, made racist remarks on Twitter. And it came to light about how she feel about black men. Now, love is love. That's what I always say. Because at the end of the day, you got to love whoever you're with. Who you've been blessed to have in your life. However, it doesn't change the complexion of your skin. You're still black. And they're going to still let you know you're black. And, you know, it's a, it's a reality. Because no matter what, you got to still deal with who the person is in the mirror. And I can't really say anything about the brother because this is something that he has to deal with. But it's a very sad reality that I'm finding so many people, you know. And then when they make remarks, they say, well, I was younger, I was dumb, I was this. But you went on a social media platform and say the N-word and say it blatantly and no repercussions, not even deleting it, sitting there. And it's funny, if you say anything kind of even halfway offensive now or something that's perceived, Twitter will suspend you for maybe like a day or a couple hours. So it's funny how this works out. But uh, this Chicago defensive player, he sits there and he proposes and everybody's like, oh, oh but then these things come to light. So what's that say about her? And was she going to come out and never acknowledge that she had made some past indiscretions that were racist and offensive? You know. And so when people look and think, well, what will what will the brother think? What will he say? What will he, what will be his uh you know, sentiment on something that is so hurtful, so heinous to be said? So it'd be very interesting how it all plays out, but you know, these things are having a lot of commonplace and things and you know, and the bottom line is this. If you feel a certain way, you should lead up to what you say, you know, but I, but at the same, and you have to like, make sure that you can, you know, admit it. And so apology would be owed to the man, you know, and it was really something to that, that, that manifested itself, but this happens so much. I'm seeing it with white baseball players who've said stuff on Twitter and I hold them all accountable, you know. Because if this woman felt this way about a black man, what she said about a white man, you know, she's white. Why don't you say that? You know, stand in the middle of the field getting a ring, you know, come on and be real about what you're saying. So anyway, that was my take about the Twitter situation with Charles Leo, the Chicago Bears defense alignment and his fiance with her racist tweets that came to light. Feel free to leave them comments and hit the subscribe. I'm out. Have a good day. Peace.